Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Rocks. It's Tracy here and to another open with me. Now I'm not sure what this magazine is because it doesn't say. Um, I do notice, however, that I've got a little hole in this bag and I don't think anything's been lost from it because the actual magazine and gifts, etc., are in another one. So I think it's just the outer bag that's kind of busted. Um, the one where they put your address in. So, um, <clears throat> if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And uh, hopefully you'll get informed when new videos pop up. Now, this is stuck. So, um, okay. It is the new crochet now, and there's quite a few free gifts. So let's um, get it open and have a little look at what we've got. Okay. So I don't think anything, as I say, got lost from it because everything was in this inner bag. And there's quite a lot there. Okay, let's get rid of that. Um, they usually don't say anything. Um, actually, win a sheepies blanket bundle, free granny square crochet book, and save 20% on Crochet Society, 34 patterns. That's really all that that says. Okay, so let's look at the uh, free gift. We have, this is quite cute. It's a hook gauge. I've seen um, needle gauges, but it's the first hook gauge I've ever seen. These are stitch markers. I don't know if you've seen this type. They just kind of go in and hook round. We've got a little safety pin, big, big pin. They remind me of kilt pins. Remember kilts? Everybody wore kilts back in the 70s. They were fashionable. And um, I've got one of these before um, from one of the magazines and I've got stitch markers on it. So um, we've also got a stitch marker that looks like a cloud. And this all comes on um, this ring, I guess. Um, can't really see what they are until I get them out, but they're guides to various things. So I've got a few of these anyway that I got free in crochet society boxes when I did my little review of them. And these are from Bella Coco. So I guess these are things that she has been putting in to her crochet society boxes anyway. And I think the one I've got is a yellow one, but it's very, very similar. But I've not had these stitch markers before. I've often seen them, but I've not tried them. I always worried that they would work their way out because they just curl in, but they probably don't. You know, lot, seen a lot of them around, but I'll give them a go actually for the first time. Oh, here we are. So it's a hook guide, and I can't read that. It's too, too slanted. Um. Okay, yarn guide, but this one being yellow on a, a white on a yellow. Um. What does that say? Measure. I don't know. <laughs> you probably can read that because I think it shows up bigger for you guys. So hopefully you can tell me what it is. Okay, so here's the magazine. I don't know about this book. Maybe you have to send off for it because it did say <clears throat> free granny square crochet book. So maybe you have to send off for it inside. So we have a look because the other day I did mention it before was National Granny Square Day. I didn't do a granny square tutorial because we went away and um, we had a lot of fun. Anyway, let's see what's in here. 34 patterns you'll love. And we've got, I think that's Brian from the Magic Roundabout, from what memory serves. I think the, he was, I don't know, Brian was a snail, wasn't he? Maybe he's not. We'll figure it out when we get there. We've got an ag Amigurumi dolly. We've got a blanket with hearts on, different types of hearts. And we've got this, um, I never know if that's a shawl or a scarf. Whenever I think it's a, a shawl, they call it a scarf. And we've got perfect Pico stitch, popcorn stitch made easy, learn to embroider. And the, the sheep is yarn bundle. Uh, anything else? Obviously, there's something up here. Cheerful decor. Okay, let's get in. Let's get in. All right, so we've just got the... Oh, it tells you what all this is. So let's have a look then, shall we? Will it say nope? Well, moving on. Okay, so we've got this kind of tabard um, cardigan that ties up. 
looks quite simple to make. Um, just one kind of stitch repeat really, or perhaps a couple of row repeats. Doesn't look very difficult. We've got a gingerbread house for gingerbread men. We've got this kind of cardigan with dots on. We've got a draft excluder, which might come in handy this year with fuel bills being ridiculously high. Looks like a stick of rock. So if you're not familiar with sticks of rock, where you come from, then they're just a big, long candy bar that are crunchy. And eventually they get chewy. Um, I think you call, in across the pond, I think you call it taffy. Because we ha I had this on a live stream once when I didn't know what taffy was. And it's pulled candy, which I think this is what this is. They pull it and it becomes a stick of rock. And you can get names go through. It's very clever. I watched them do it once on TV, how they make rock, say Blackpool Rock or South End on Sea or whatever. It's very clever how they do that. Anyway, uh, free essentials box when you subscribe um, on page 28. And we've got a, a bag which looks like it's got bears on it. Look at that. That's quite snazzy. That's different from the usual tote bag with granny squares, isn't it? They look like jelly babies. Okay, let's move on. Um, King Cole has launched a new 100% recycled wool yarn called Wildwood Chunky. I've not seen that one yet. I haven't placed an order for a while on my um, website, Hobby Rocks, which is, if you haven't seen it already, is hobbyrocks.co.uk. And I do do quite a few King Cole yarns, but I've not come across that one yet. I've yet to order for winter, so um, I might give that a try, or at least see if I can get some samples sent. Um, this looks nice. Doesn't it look knitted? It really does. Um, obviously, is it? Can't be, can't, can it? They're not going to put knitting in here. But that really does look like a knitted stitch. Confusing. The gloves look like they're crocheted, and so do the hat, but I'm talking about this part. That looks like a knitted thing. Okay. UK hand knitting put in on quite an extravaganza. So it might actually be. Okay, party time. What's this? Make your crocheting time a party by adding some confetti yarn. Okay. And this is Signet Ranges. These have been around for quite a long time, these seriously chunkies. And okay. Wee Woolly Wonderfuls, just a little editorials, we've got advert for, for Bernat. This is the bit where you show your makes. Um, I just uh, pause it for a second because I've got a knock coming at the door. Okay, sorry about that, I thought it was a postman and I'm uh, expecting something. So this is in association with Signet Yarns. Now they've come up quite, quite a lot in recent years, I've noticed. and. Um, I've always liked the boho spirit, but they've got a lot of really lovely yarns now. I do stock a few of those on my um, on my website. Maple cowl. Now this is this is different, isn't it? It's quite thin, and you put loop it around a couple of times by the looks of it. So that's unusual. It's got kind of like a is that like a fleur de lis kind of vibe going on? There's the chart. So instructions on that. And we've got the gingerbread village. Well, I can't say I'd call it a village. Like one house, a tree and two gingerbread men. But okay, maybe you could make them all the same, similar. Instructions on that. Um, advert Stylecraft. Love myself cardigan. It's quite sweet, isn't it? Oh, I didn't say who made these things. Oh, well. We won't go back and do that then, because I didn't do it, so I won't do it now. And this is the Wildwood, the Wildwood Chunky, the new yarn by um, King Cole. I'll definitely have to get some of that and try it, although it's 100% recycled wool, so, you know, it won't be suiting to everybody, but a lot of people love wool. Pride Blanket, now that's what this is, all different kind of hearts, but all rainbowy. So it's a, a pride blanket. Well, that one's not very rainbowy, but you know what I mean. So that's uh, quite a lot of instructions because there's a lot of different components to it. 
And then we've got the Bobble and Chic cardigan. I like it, but I don't really like the baggy sleeves. But other than that, it's okay. Um, quite simple shapes to make. So if once you've mastered the Bobble and um, the pattern, the actual shaping should be quite easy. There's a chart as well for that. Okay, so subscribe to Crochet Now. And what do you get? Let's have a look. Um, you can pay 19 49 every three months, £77 for 13 issues. And that's how you can do it with the code. And what would you get? When you subscribe, you'll get all that stuff. So you get a crochet hook kit. You get some Bella Coco yarn and a book. Um, stretching your crochet skills. Mm, okay, does it really give you much idea what it is? Okay, you get a box. That's the box, obviously. Uh, worth sixty four ninety nine, filled to the brim with gorgeous yarn, stitch markers, premium crochet hooks, and a fifty two page pattern book. The essential box will help you learn new skills and stitches and skills. Sorry, learn new stitches and skills. Join Crochet now and get it today for free. So. There you go, if you want to do that. Oh, what's the A wall hanging? They're, what are they? Pockets? I suppose at least it's a functionable... Functional? Functionable. Functional wall hanging. It's a pick and mix one. There wouldn't be uh, pick and mix around here long enough with Gary, I tell you. He likes a bit of... He likes a bit of pick and mix, does our Gary. Win a sheepies blanket making bundle. Um, free Granny Squares book. Okay, packed with step-by-step -step guides. Um, how do you get that? Download your copy. So it's downloadable. And that's um, where you get it from. And this is Make Your Own Disney Magic. Mickey and Minnie Crochet Kits from Stitch and Story. But as we see before, they are rather expensive. Now this is the Lacey Cardigan. And... Let's see, what's that? Is it it's quite... Yeah, as I, as I thought, it's not the actual how to do. It doesn't go over many pages, so it's obviously like a repetition pattern. And it's got um a schematic, as they call it, a schematic and the chart. Right, we've got the Bella Coco Crochet Chronicles and uh, what we got this time, showing us how to... Crochet what? Um, I don't know, but it's got rows. So she's just telling us how to do this stitch. Possibly. Okay, moving on. Marshmallow Squish Blanket. That's quite nice. I'm not sure I'd choose those colours, like yellow and pink. But it is quite nice. I like that. It's amazing, really, when you, you choose colours, how they can transform something. If you just... I like them, don't get me wrong. It's quite nice. Yellow, cream and pink. Very girly, isn't it? But if you did that in different colours, it would really completely look like a different blanket. Amazingly. I always think that with cars. You can get the same car in a different colour in a completely different car. Carrie's Journal is a bit of an editorial. An advert. Wow. Now this is pretty. Now I'm not a wall hanging kind of girl, as you know. But as a square, I really, really like that. Wouldn't put it on my wall, but you could put that in the centre of your table, couldn't you, and put a fruit bowl on it or something, uh, without the tassels, obviously. But, um, yeah, I don't do, really do wall hangings. But the, as a as a mandala kind of square, whatever you want to call it, that's... I think mandala's around. So, yeah, it's quite nice. Not, it's quite like a stained glass window, isn't it? Or a kaleidoscope, as they call it. It's the kaleidoscope wall hanging. I like that. Kaleidoscope square. But not necessarily a wall hanging. Mastering the magic ring. Well, if you want to do that, I have the easiest tutorial you'll ever see. I'll put a link at the end. Don't worry about all that rounding the fingers and stuff. Okay, so here we go. Magic roundabout. Who is he? <laughs> Dylan. <laughs> That's who it is. Dylan. 
it's been a long while ago since I watched it, you know. But, yeah, Dylan, how could I forget? How could I ever forget? Watched that all the time when I was a child. Magic Roundabout. And this is the crochet along. This is actually part four. Um, again, I'm not keen on the colours of this, but you don't have to follow the colours, do you? You can do whatever you want, but they're just different textured squares. So um, you can get the bundle, I think, as well. But I'm not really keen on the colours. Wouldn't really make them in that. Okay, Enchanted Forest Scarf. See what I mean? Now, to any any eye, you would say shawl, wouldn't you? But it's a scarf. That's why I never guess. Because when I look at it and think, that's a scarf, they'll call it a shawl or a wrap. And this one, I look at it and think, definitely shawl. And what do they call it? A scarf. Look at it. It's a shawl for crying out loud. But pretty, anyway. Crochet community. So we've got bits and pieces about yarn, uh, stitch shows and stuff. And the shop of the month. That's an unusual looking shop, isn't it? Reminds me of Windsor. So where is it? Let's see. The Knit Shack. Whereabouts is it? I can't see it. Um, her husband came up with a name. I know that. It does look like Windsor, but it's not, probably. Heaven above. I can't find it. Never mind. It's a pretty shop. Stocked full of yarn. Maybe some of you know. If you've been to the Knit Shack, let me know. So here we've got the draft excluder with the Blackpool Rock. Obviously, you don't need to put Blackpool Rock on it if you don't want to. If you live in a seaside town, you can put your own rock name because it is only embroidered on that bit. But that's kind of pretty, isn't it? Unusual. And we are all going to need draft excluders this year, apparently. So the Signet Scrumpalicious, I think I might need to ask them to send me some samples of that one and then I can show you what it's like and stock it in my shop if it's lovely. These are nice, aren't they? Is it like indigo crochet happy with like indigo interchangeable crochet hook set? I've never used that sort of thing. And then we've got book reviews. Let's have a look at this book club. What have we got? Um, crochet bees, bugs and butterflies, 14.99 by Vanessa Muncy, by GMC Publications. So if you fancy making yourself some bugs, ew, I itch already. But, you know, obviously I don't mind ladybirds. And stick insects are quite cute, but that's, I think that's a, an ant, only a big one. Oh, no, I'm gonna turn over. Tiger Swallowtail Butterfly. Now, I can understand having a butterfly on the wall, I guess, but here we go. Candice the Candy Girl. She's kind of cute. I like her. I don't make amigurumis, but that would be, I, that would be, I like her. That's cute. I think I was a, when I was a child, I'd have liked to have had a doll like that. My, my aunt used to knit stuff for me many, many, many moons ago. And this is the faux log cabin blanket. I don't know why it's called a faux log cabin blanket. Because I don't understand that. But never mind, it's a pretty blanket with abstract kind of squares. Really nice. And there's the charts for those and how to put it together. Now this I like. Gummy bear bags. See, I said it was a bit like <laughs> jelly babies, but they're gummy bears. I like this. That's unusual, isn't it? That's different. Well done to Zoe Potrack. We made that one. Gonna get a um, mention because I like it so much. That's actually cool. Okay, and I think we're at the end. We've got the usual bits, you know, um, abbreviations and the like. So that's the magazine. And this is the gift. I think it's quite a nice gift, actually. Whether I'll use much of it, I'll use these stitch markers to see what they're like. That's for sure. But, um, and I guess the, the hook guide might be handy because quite often you get hooks 
and you can't see what size they are because they've put a kind of an indentation print on the handle. Um, I think clover do that and ones who rip clover off in their sort of type, they, they tend to do that. And you can't always, especially in the wrong light or whatever, see what size it is. You kind of need to go over it with crayon or something so that you can see. But um, that might be handy, but I've never used one. Anyway, let me know what you think of this magazine. What do you like best? What don't you like? And um, thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one. I do have another one to do. I think it's inside crochet. So one of them will pop up before the other. But there's this and, uh, and inside crochet to do. Um, the other one hasn't arrived yet. So thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.